to store your cryptocurrency for the long term? Yeah, so cold storage is a couple options there. Zoppo will do some of the bigger coins. Uh, BitGo has a great option. Or you can get a Trezor or a Ledger and do your own cold storage. But cold storage is the key here. Reports surfacing this week that regulators have issued subpoenas for a number of initial coin offerings looking into potential fraudulent activities. The investigation underscoring fears of a broader crackdown in that space. Now, ICOs were the hot new jam in crypto last year, but there's a new buzzword making the rounds in the Bitcoin universe, airdrops. So what exactly is that? For more, we need to bring in our Bitcoin baller, Brian Christopher Kelly, mm -hmm. otherwise known as BK. Three names because he has a pocket square. BK. Yeah. A works for Carter tonight. Braxton Worth. Thanks, thanks for having me, Scott. I watch you guys every day. It's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> let me talk to you about what the new word is. You know what it is? It's airdrop. What the heck is an airdrop? Well, we're going to talk about airdrop versus an ICO. Basically, an airdrop is like getting a free sample in the mail. So you own a certain token. All of a sudden, one day you wake up because of owning it, you get another token. So it's an add-on token. Why is it different from an ICO? In an ICO, you're getting an entirely new token and you're buying that token. So here in the airdrop, we get it for free. In the ICO, you got to pay for it. The airdrop is very similar to a dividend. So you already own a stock, you're getting a little bit more. You're getting U.S. dollars, you're getting cash. You already own a currency in this case, you get another currency, it's like a dividend. ICO is much more like, it actually is, you're making an investment. So you're putting up money, it's a new position for you, that's what an ICO is. So let's just take a look at how this works. There's one coming up, and this is the next big one. That's gonna, this is happening March 5th. Ethereum Classic, symbols ETC and Callisto. That's the airdrop. So if you own ETC on March 5th, and it'll happen at some time on March 5th, it's based on when the blocks update, but for every ETC you own, you're gonna get one CLO, which is Callisto, and Callisto's a new blockchain. They're gonna do some testing on it and try to upgrade Ethereum Classic with it, but it could have value. If it gets on exchange, it could have value, and that's why people like it. So let's look at what's happening here with Ethereum Classic price. You can see it's been in a bit of an uptrend here, right? And we've seen that. This is everybody buying into Ethereum Classic to get the Calixto airdrop. So here you are. You own Ethereum Classic. You own 10 of those. You're going to get 10 CLL on March 5th, and that is the new hot thing called an airdrop. Anybody have a question for BCK? Sure, sure Beak. So, so let's think about this. When you're an so yeah, this is actually kind of a cool concept. I think um, if you do have time, you should definitely research this because getting uh, free coins can never be bad. And in a way too, because of this news that will come out, it obviously pumps the price of the coin. Um, you just have to be careful for uh, pump and dumps because obviously once the drop is over, the price could possibly crash. But um, I will probably definitely do more coverage on this channel of um, upcoming drops because it's free. <laughs> I don't know if you've been watching my channel, but I am a big proponent of not wasting your money and also getting as much stuff as you can for free. That's why I am a big fan of Robinhood. If you haven't seen all my videos, I have the link for Robinhood. You just sign up, you get a free stock. You don't have to put in any money. And uh, I'm going to continue that trend of just providing information for free stuff because I think that you should be very conservative with your money and not waste it on how to invest books or you know, there's just so many <laughs> scams on YouTube uh, just trying to always sell you stuff. And I think that you should be looking for content creators that are pushing you to do stuff for free. And um, now that uh, I think, you know, moving forward, you know, because ICOs are going to, you know, get cracked down by the SEC, I think the way to go if you do want to get into smaller coins is go get the airdrops. I mean, they're free. All you have to do is own the coins and have them on a wallet. And um, I'll go ahead and do some research on my own and try to provide this information for you guys. So please subscribe to the channel. And definitely, definitely, um, I am a big proponent of free. So uh, let's work together. If you are watching this on the comments, feel free to share information if you got some airdrops that uh, you know we need to be looking for because I love free. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon.